Welcome to The Champion Breakdown, where we highlight the gold nuggets, the tips and tricks to help you become the best version of yourself in your journey to becoming a champion. Welcome to The Champion Breakdown. We have uh, the breakdown of Steven Nyman today. Super excited to get into his episode. Okay, that was a really fun story. And again, like so many of our other champions, I loved hearing that as a kid, he wasn't the best of all his three brothers. Um, It's such a cool story of, it sounds like he wasn't the fastest, but the most competitive. He's got this hunger in him that you hear through everything, like hunger to be his best self. It's really fun hearing that. It's just so interesting because I feel like that's such a repetitive theme that we've heard from some of the other athletes as well is just the highly competitive nature that is just born within them. And it's funny. It's like you wonder if that's something that you can create or is that something that you just you have or you don't. I don't know, you know. Literally. Yeah. I think um, I was thinking about that as he talked too. And, you know, we talk about this champions are made, not born, but I do think like there's an honor in, um, yeah, your personality, your spirit, how you were born. And, and I think there's a lot of people out there not living to their full potential with they could if they harness the champion mindset, but maybe that is part of the true magic when you're, you're harnessing the mindset, but you're also honoring that you know, that thing that you're born with, this, this fierceness, competitiveness, it's, um, it'll be interesting as we interview more, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, You know what else I think that I loved hearing is I loved hearing that he did not grow up with a ton of money, because I think a lot of people think, oh, ski racing, you have to have a lot of money or, oh, you, you know, I can't do that because we don't have a lot of money. You, You know, he just like figured it out. And I love his story about ski racing, like in his half downhill suit, half spandex that was hilarious <laughs> i i know uh and and also i really his story was quite impressive as he, as he talked through learning about it sounded like he had to let go some of his like weaknesses of being shy and maybe there's a bit of ego there too of like not wanting to look like you don't know what you're doing um and he just had to learn how to ask questions and ask for help and be vulnerable basically and bring in the people in his life who really were them f- there for him and 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 let them in to his like what he wanted you know his why what he wanted out of life and i loved hearing that magical story of how it all just came together once he did ask the questions and ask for help. I know. And I think that one of the biggest tips that I that I took from that interview is just his whole system of communication with his teammates, with his coaches, you know, that just gives him such uh, an amazing ability to have focus goals and accountability. And it's so great to have they like kind of include everyone in his mission, you know, just talking about how when he'd go, when he'd do this and then go compete, how everybody felt so much more involved. And I just thought that that was a really great tip. Like I just was thinking about that, like, wow, that would have been something that I think I could have really benefited from when I was competing if I started to do that. 100% because you don't often think how, you, like Stephen's in an individual sport, um, but it really is a case of, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. I watched um, Jagger Eaton, uh, the USA's first Olympic um, medalist, come home last night and celebrate with his friends. And he was saying exactly that thing to all, like his friends, his coaches, his um, mindset coaches that like, this is for us. Like, this is going to help all of us in life, not just me. And I was like, wow, to have that attitude as an individual athlete, like that's, that's the spirit of um, community and tribe, you know? Yeah. And it's just putting yourself in that, surrounding yourself with the, with the right people and your, your vibe attracts your tribe and just, um, you know, uh, and what the other thing I loved about it is that if when you when he was doing that and he communicates it with all of his coaches, that then he's not getting told a million different things from a million different coaches. It's it, it keeps everybody kind of on the same page and to really focus on kind of the same goal. And I thought that was so smart because when he was talking about that, I actually was thinking like, wow, I I can remember having that feeling of this coach is telling me one thing and this coach is telling me another thing. And all sports are a little bit different, but in ski racing, you tend to have quite a few coaches. And um, to get everybody kind of on the same page, I thought that was just, I thought that was brilliant. So I really hope that people will take that and run with it because I I think it can be really, it can be really helpful. Well, I hope you take some of these tips into your life, young champions, and 
Uh, we can't wait until next time. Join us. We've got a really fun guest um, to share some tips with you. Till next time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>